big. Saving knowledge like this in mind. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of the number one educated online broadcast. Talk to KD. Commemoration of 2021 World Malaria Day. I'm certain that every day. I'm your regular host, Sarah Ebuna. Welcome on board. Every year, the month of April, you know, we set aside the month of April as our Malaria Awareness Month. Why? Because we understand that malaria is a deadly disease. Indeed, it is a life-threatening disease. And as a reputable healthcare provider, we understand the importance of creating awareness about this deadly disease so that you can learn and know how to protect yourself and your loved ones. So, with me in the studio today is a member of World Bank Malaria Partners International, the vocal person on malaria for Anna Foundation Medicare a seasoned expert on infectious and non-infectious disease, a malariologist, and of course, a six-star consultant of Kelly Healthcare. He is none other than Dr. Alhaji Mohamed Jauda Uluwa Tony. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much for coming today. Can you say hello to our viewers? Thank you very much, viewers. Good morning and happy Malaria Day in advance. Okay, so Dr. Mohamed will be doing justice to the dangers, prevention, and treatment of malaria. So as we go on, if you have any question whatsoever, make use of the comment section and talk to KD because Dr. Mohamed is here and is capable to do justice to all your questions. So we'll be taking a few of the questions live. So as we go on, Make it on the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Now, in furtherance of our Malaria Awareness Month, don't forget that every pack of Kingal capsules sold in the month of April, Kelly will donate 100 naira to local communities across the country. And guess what? We have commenced this donation activity. Mm -hmm. We have commenced this donation activity in states where our branch and regional offices are located across the country. And trust me, it has been massive. Yeah, Kelly has been donating our effective anti-malaria tablet Kingal capsule insecticide mosquito nets and of course our detailed malaria handbook all of this is just is as part of our contribution to the fight against malaria believe me when i say a zero malaria world is possible but it begins with you now that's not all you have a part to play i'm sure you're wondering how mm -hmm. from the first of april 2021 we commenced a massive awareness on all our social media platforms about this deadly disease called malaria. And then, what, what are you supposed to do? What are we expecting you to do? Simply share this malaria awareness post on your timeline. Let us put out the word. Let us tell the world that malaria is deadly. Believe me when I say some people still do not know that malaria kills. Mm -hmm. Malaria kills. Malaria kills. Honest, don't handle it with leopard. Malaria is a life-threatening disease. Let us put out the word, okay? So just visit any of our social media platforms and then share our malaria awareness post. Share it on your timeline. Tag your friends. Let them also share it on their timeline. Together, we can achieve a zero malaria world. But you have to play your part, just as we are doing our best. Still in commemoration of World, the 2021 World Malaria Day, on Monday, 26th of April 2021, walk into any of our training centers nationwide and you get one KD Malaria and book free. Yes, KD deserves more than that applause. Honestly, uh -huh, it can be better. <laughs> yes. It doesn't get better than this anywhere. I mean, from the beginning of April, Kedja has been doing so much. Kedja has been giving out so much because we understand that when you are healthy, we will grow, okay? So join us in this fight as we go on 
together. In case you're tuning in for the first time, this is Talk to Kedi, your number one educative online podcast coming to you from the stable of Kedi Healthcare Industry, Nigeria Limited, the leading provider of quality healthcare products and services in Nigeria. Today, Dr. Mohamed is here and he'll be doing justice to the danger, prevention and treatment of malaria. So, over to you, Dr. Mohamed. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I hope the city is not hot. No, no, no. Not uh, hot at all. Okay, okay, let's go on. So, my first question is, as a malariologist, okay, when, when I saw, when I saw your, your um, biodata and I saw Mr. Uh, Dr. Twain, a malariologist, it got me thinking, of all the, you know, what do they call it now? Infections. Of all the infections and other things that we have in this field, why did you choose to focus on malaria? Uh, all right. Thank you very much, everybody. Good morning. It's a pleasure being on this day today. Uh, well, it's amazing when you say a malariology. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seriously, it is something that I, I develop passion for in my final year in school. Okay. I presented the term paper, uh, I would say appreciation to my lecturer then and my HUD of the Department of Science, uh, Science Department of uh, ATBU, the person of Professor Ibi Samaila and Dr. Omar Rosa. These are the people that encouraged me to be a malariologist today. That was for some back as 2005. However, I made a presentation on vaccine creation initiative about malaria which was in process that time. Eventually, after the presentation, a doctor came up, now a professor, asked the question that, what are the adjuvants to this vaccine? It got me thinking, adjuvant, something that is in pipeline. I responded, I said, sir, this thing is still in pipeline. There shouldn't be any adjuvant until it is produced. Then, the presiding officer, who of course is my immunology lecturer, had the title on the stage, I said, and that was why I dwell into it. And I have never and for once regretted being a man. Oh. However, before we go into the in-depth of the presentation today, or the questions rather, malaria is a deadly disease. It's the number four killer disease in the world. Mm. After HIV, tuberculosis, and the rest. It's the number four. However, it is born to kill the, uh, the, uh, between the ages of a zero and four and pregnant women. Now, if these people are dying on daily, I mean, a daily year, for every second, six people died of malaria in the world. So if people are dying like this, how much are we going to be in the next few years? So going into research and know how we can prevent malaria and take precautions towards spreading the malaria, then that is, I mean, it calls for uh, research very well. And that is the more reason why we are into it. And then you mentioned zero malaria. I was so glad because that was the theme of Robert Malaria Partner International. Zero Malaria. All right, see, something struck me, sir. I saw a research conducted by the World Health Organization and it said over 290 million persons all over the world are infected with malaria. And then we have 400,000 people die annually as a result of malaria, it struck me. Why, because some of the symptoms of malaria, you know, is also similar to that of some other regular illnesses. Do you understand? So, how can I know that this is malaria? Thank you very much. Characteristically, malaria is divided into three. Oh, okay. The main characteristic of malaria is fever, which everybody knows. But however, this fever is broadly divided into three stages. Number one, we talk about the cold stage. The cold stage is when the person develops fever, chills, and headache. So the second stage is what is known as fever stage. At this stage, the person will have temperature, to have, it might be, uh, it might be uh, uh, following with diarrhea, vomiting, and the host of others. That's the fever stage. Then the third stage is what we call uh, sweating stage. The person perspire, and then the, the pains reduces that, the joint pains, the back ache reduces, and every other thing, until the next vigor cycle. That's the next a cycle of malaria that which the person is infected. Okay. I don't know that maybe you got that. Okay. So, yeah. however, broadly to a layman, the main uh, what do you call it? The signs and symptoms of malaria are headache, chills, joint pains, and a host of others. 
But however, to a professional, it is this very broad uh, classification. Okay, you see, I'm asking because of some persons who probably are in the rural areas where they do not have access to all of these modern healthcare facilities and all that. Okay, now some of these symptoms that some of the symptoms of malaria are similar to cold and then flu and all that. If I do not go to the hospital, is there any other way for me to know that, okay, this is not just cold and flu, it is malaria? Yeah, it is now very, very simple for you to get malaria diagnosed without even going to the hospital. Okay. We call it without using the spray. Okay. The, the, needle, I mean, the, the needle is there, you can see the test and see if you are positive. So you cannot just use the type of Because you, as you said, the signs and symptoms are similar to cold and flu. So let's not confuse malaria with malaria. So, however, RDT is more common in society. Thank God, I think. Even in the rural areas? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. I think it's a part of 100 uh, stripes. You can easily share it. So, why I will encourage them to use RDT? So, at least people can get that. Okay. Uh, that Okay, noted. All right, thank you, Dr. Mohamed. Now, this question. Hmm? How is malaria transmitted? Oh, thank you very much. You see, you cannot jump into that knowing or have a foresight of how the transmission is carrying about as the life cycle of malaria okay. itself. Broadly, the life cycle of malaria is in two stages. The mosquito, which is called the rogue stage, and then in human being, which is called chizogony stage. Sorry, don't mind my grammar, please. I hope my viewers understand. Okay. <laughs> now, I will break it down. In the chizogony stage, that is where we have a female Anopheles mosquito taking a blood meal from you as an individual. When they take this blood meal, they release what is known as porozoids into the bloodstream. This porozoid goes into the bloodstream and stay there for just one hour, after which it migrates into the liver cells or the hepatic cells. Now, within the hepatic cell, it stays there for just 14 to 15 days, thereby destroying the cells of the liver. Now, at this stage, they might, I mean, they, they, they develop into what's known as chizomes. Sorry, just, I, I have to be mentioning so at least we we'll get to know about when it. When you are done with all of these technical things, eh? you yes. still explain it. Yeah, you see, you see, that's why I'm <laughs> breaking it down now. Now, the chizome now, after it is being released in the, I mean, when they rupture from the liver cell, when they break down or mature in the liver cell, which is 15 days, they go back into the bloodstream. So the first stage is what we call a pre-erythrocytic stage. Now we are now in the post-erythrocytic stage. In the post-erythrocytic stage now, what we have the chizom now in the red blood cell. It now stays there and mature into what is known as troposoids. From troposoids, it migrates into gametocytes. And gametocytes will have two types. We have the micro and micro gametocytes. The macro is the female, while the micro is the male. So when they have, uh, when they have population, they, re they release what is now. Who's on? Okay. So, and so on, it goes back into the mosquito, whereby they develop from the saliva of the mosquito, then go back into the intestine and migrate back again, you understand me, into the uh, proboscis of the malaria and ready for it. I mean, this life cycle takes some days within there. So, and as they go like, like how many days? Uh, within two, three weeks, oh. they are mature within the mosquito. So, however, now these are what transmit malaria into you. So to a layman now just the, uh, after the mosquito bite, I'm fear, I mean I'm feeling some body temperature. It's actually possible that after the mosquito bite you won't even feel anything. Yeah of course it's possible. Uh. It's possible. There are some people that are most of okay like what even drives me into the malaria as a certain person is I do come down with malaria Okay. So I now said okay let me know why I'm into then I went into a, my, my, first, my first project work was on susceptibility of malaria among blood groups and genotypes. So I went into it. The susceptibility, one, I discovered that blood group O positive okay. are more susceptible to malaria okay. and genotype AA. Why? Because the mosquito has affinity. And we say affinity, that's love for okay. our blood. So I discovered that I fall into that category. O positive AA genotype. Mm. So I discovered that these are the people that fall into that category. And they love, I mean, mosquitoes love our uh, blood very well. Mm. And we have series of mosquitoes that wait 
when they, they are some that these days yeah. that they will not even make any noise. They will just come, take their bow. Yeah. <laughs> so that is it. So that is the way that which they must be. I mean, sorry, we can be infected with malaria. It is true what infected and open, female and open is Okay. Yeah. Um, but be, sorry before okay. the next question. I want the audience to know that but malaria, it is called plasmodiasis. And when you say plasmodiasis, it is derived from the word plasmodium, which is the, uh, uh, the protozoa that transmits into human beings. However, I have, I have authoritatively telling you that it is only Algeria and Argentina that have been certified malaria from the world. Hell. Only these two countries. Nigeria. But maybe in the course of the maybe <laughs> maybe in the course of the discussion we'll be able to talk tell more about where Nigeria falls to. Mm-hmm. Myself and you we are not excluded. <laughs> so however, this plasmodium, we have four of them. We have plasmodium vivax, plasmodium ovale, plasmodium malaria, and plasmodium falciparum. So the plasmodium falciparum is not excluded in the sub-Saharan Africa, which Nigeria is not excluded from. Yes, you see, when we had um, the donation, our donation activity at Amukuku in Lagos, a woman asked the question, and she said, she has been treating malaria for God knows when, you know, so it will subside a bit for probably some weeks or months, and then after, let's say, a month, it will come back again. Is it that uh, she, and now you just explain that it is caused by um, an infective famous and famous mosquito and all that. So is it that she gets bitten every month or is it possible to actually start the treatment and then it doesn't work or it doesn't work well? Okay, let's just answer the woman's question. I want to believe she's watching. She said, she, the question exactly was, why is it that I keep treating malaria almost every month? Why does it keep coming and then reoccurring? Okay, thank you very much. I think in my first research into malaria, that was in 2005, I discovered that the poor, I mean the so-called ACT we carry about today mm. are resistant to malaria since 2005. But that's what we order today. Mm. By and large, I discovered that the first line drug, which is chloroquine, if it is reintroduced into the society to more for the malaria, mm. but it has a side effect on the eye. And that's why the face is poor. Mm. But however, I thank Eddie for the combination of Tinga. I don't want to mention it today. Ah, you will mention it. Oh, serious. <laughs> Yeah, in, the, in the course of reintroducing Tinga at that time, I remember I encouraged Eddie to pretend that Tinga, but to no avail. Today, other pharmaceutical industry are making Tinga. So, assuming we pretend that time, it will have been a better okay. today. So, society. back to the woman now. Yeah, the woman in question, possibly she might be using ACT in the treatment of the malaria. And when you say ACT, that's artemisinin combined therapy. So if she's using that alone to treat malaria, it will keep reoccurring again. It will keep reoccurring. And once there's a reoccurring, possibly let the woman take care of herself. If not, the tendency is okay. Oh, yep, of really? course. Because if you look at the complication of malaria today, we have, I mean, the, the bulk of it is anemia. Like I told you, we have two stages. Uh, or oh, that's the Chizogonia sporogonia, that's the mosquito in human being. So in human being, it really affects the blood cells. If you remember the life cycle I said, we have pre-erythrocytic and post erythrocytic So within the, I mean the cells, when it enters into the blood, it goes to the liver, then come back to the red cells again. So it's possible that death might come in. That could be anemia. Wow. And if care is not taken, it could even cause that is serious. Yeah, of course. Those are the complications of malaria. So malaria is not just what we just say. Yeah, yeah, I have malaria. I have malaria. It is more than that. No, the way some of us handle it, it's just malaria. It's just malaria. Yeah, because of our ability in Nigeria. Like, oh, it's just malaria. In two days, I'll be. It's just malaria. It's not just malaria. You've heard it from the doctor. It is not just malaria. So let me quickly ask. With this analogy, I'm interested. Does that mean if I'm able to protect myself from being beaten by an infected female anop- anopheles mosquito, does that mean I'm good to go? Yeah, you are not beaten. You are good to go, but in this our sub-Saharan Africa, sorry, we can't run away from it. 
If you say, okay, you protect yourself within the wall, four walls of your room, are you not going out? Inside your vehicle, you get beaten by a mosquito. Then, even within your office setting, you get beaten by mosquitoes. So, there's no how you prevent yourself without it. So, it is more than just protecting yourself alone. So, there are a lot of things you could use to take care of it. One, the use of drugs. Let me go into the conventional world now. Drugs like ACT, there are some other ACT that which are not modified, that which you can use. Then, uh, I think the, the initiation of Canam Foundation is vaccine initiation. So, you want to go into vaccine. That we to target when the uh, mosquito take a blood immediately, so that at least there will be no further uh, development in the human being. So if there is no further development, then definitely nobody will come down with that. Okay, so apart from them, yeah, are there other preventive measures? Yeah, of course. I'm still mentioning them. Oh, okay. I'm just mentioning one. I'm, 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 I'm curious. This no, no. Do we have what is known as stetero oil. This oil is what you can use to rub yourself. And which mosquito will scare the meat from okay, it. Exactly. Okay. So they will have what is known as DDT. So you can use that to also rub yourself. What is DDT? It's like a chemical you use to take care of the surrounding and okay. it kills the mosquito. Okay. Then above all, the predilection site for mosquito, which is dark places, food cupboards, stagnant water, all these things are meant to and even bushes around us needs to be cleared. So if we don't take care of all these things, it might affect. I mean, we are not taking care of the mosquito. Hmm. You see something, you said something that struck me, that really struck me. That even if you protect your yourself in your house, you go out because some of us we travel. Yeah. We have to travel because of work and all that thing. Now, if I'm to travel to um, an area that has a high risk of Mosquito bite, you understand? Mm -hmm. What should I do? Because I'm sure I'm asking this question. I'm asking, I'm sure some of my viewers they have it in their mind that what if I'm to travel or for one reason I need to go to the rural areas to do one or two things, even in the urban areas too. And then that area is actually has um, an high risk of mosquito bite. What should I do? Yeah, my moderator. This is a question that we, even the World Health Organization <laughs> is battling today. I have the privilege to tell you that Nigeria is number 14 largest infected with malaria today. It's not a good report. It's a good report because it, it is, is published it. already. We have the Blue Health go to a uh, uh, page on the internet. You see it there. Nigeria is number 14 in the world. Then in Africa, Nigeria is number one, followed by. Uh, you don't need to mention it. <laughs> and it's a good report. <laughs> of course, we should say it because Nigeria does not give room for what research. Hmm. They don't give room for research. It's so sad. Thousands and millions of dollars are being pumped into malaria research, but we had it today. I remember 2009 when we went for a conference in Abuja. The the focal person of malaria in Nigeria, which is Dr. Audu, promised that. By this year, in for coronavirus, I believe mass education will have been going on now in the society. So at least to avail people of the danger that is embedded in malaria of mosquito bite. However, a lot of things are happening in the world today. And uh, like I said, Argentina and Algeria are certified free of malaria today. In 1930, about 400 million people were infected with malaria in China. But today, they have a zero cases of malaria. Then in Malaysia too, they have a zero cases of malaria. So we can have it too, if myself and you would take the lead and say, I mean, spread the information or the gospel of malaria is deadly into the society too. Mm -hmm. As a malarologist, what do you think we can do as a country? Do you understand? Not just as individuals. As individuals, we know it begins with me. It begins with you. That's on an individual note, but as a country, what are those things you feel that if we probably do them, you know, we can achieve this zero malaria target? Yeah, you see, sorry to say, I don't want to, I don't want to Just, be biased, but however, you said as a country, and we're going into a, a larger society, mm. the health industry is compromised. So as a result of that, most of the researches that are supposed to be accepted in the society now are being done. 
So if effort is made or geared towards malaria today, I bet it with you. By the target, the target of World Health is that by 2030, everybody in the world today must be free of malaria. So if we are not free of malaria in the world, then we are still in, we are still going back to the scrap. So I bet with you that once the COVID-19 pandemic is off the society now, the malariologists will be out to tell you that these are the danger of malaria, and then these are the ways we can cope it. Uh, recently, oh, sorry, in the last conference we had in Abuja, or we held in Abuja, it was agreed that there will be new LNT, that's long-lasting uh, treated net, that which will be shared now, that we, it is compulsory you must use it. And by the time you use it, I bet it with you, mosquito is not uh, going to take a, a blood from you. Mm. So especially when you go back home. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, and uh, even the, uh, the other, the chemical composition of that, Yes, uh, and in the chemical composition, what do we do? Now, it actually stays between 72 hours before the return of the state. Now, imagine the quantum of what you hear in the name of the human. And these are some of the things that even bad for our women. So, gradually, it's getting up. So, the idea of what we should do in the we should disseminate the information and probably encourage people to use. That's long lasting. That is the only way. Or possibly some of the SCTs will be provided free of charge. Which is actually what KD is doing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I, I salute the courage of KD mm -hmm. and I'm proud to be a KD. <laughs> you can say that again. Ah, some people may not believe this, yep. but I know that there are complications of malaria. Oftentimes you hear people say, um, what I have is just malaria. I even have been with it for quite a number of months, but it's just malaria, I'll be fine. What are the dangers, that's the complications of malaria? What are the other things that could crop up as a result of being infected with malaria or not treating malaria properly? Thank you very much. I think we'll be mentioning them. With yeah, the, the by the side. Them. Yeah. Number one is anemia, that shortage of blood. Why do we have shortage of blood? In the process, number one, when the blood, when the mosquito takes a blood meal, it releases it, that poisonous thing into the bloodstream. That poisonous thing destroys the red cells. And once the red cell is destroyed, what happens to the person? You'll be short of blood. And once that is not taken care of, that is it. Of course, number one. Then number two, it could lead to damage, or it could damage the liver cells. God forbid. Oh, but of course, that's, that's part of the complication. Yeah. Apart from the fact that they could lead to death with all these two uh, major complications. Okay. Now, in the market, you will agree with me that we have quite a number of anti malaria carpets. Yep. You know. But then again, Kedi has an effective anti malaria tablet called Ingal Capsule. Okay. And then in 2015, Professor Yuyu too got an award for revolutionizing um, the use of artemisinin and all that, which, of course, is one of the ingredients of our effective Kingal capsule. So, as a malariologist, I need to share your experience with us. How many cases of malaria have you handled with Kelly Kingal capsule? What were the success rates like? Uh, you see, like I said, when the introduction of Kingal came on board, I happened to be with the, the then Ikeja manager. Okay. That's uh, Mrs. Josephine. Okay. I encouraged her that please let us pretend this thing. Because, like I said, I started this research in 2005 and I knew the composition of what the Yahweh is made for. One is ACT and phosphate. Mm. So now, you remember I, I said, the first time drug, which is chloroquine phosphate, if we introduce into the society, we mop up the malaria in the society. But however, now Kedi did it why? They removed ACT and added phosphate to it, which is a very good combination. combination yeah. Now, when you add these two together, it has a very perfect army treatment to malaria. Mm. And the speaking, I have never regretted using this drug. 
mm. since the onset. So if you're asking me how many cases, I can't name them. I can't them. name them. I can't name them. Because a lot of cases are coming. I once they come in, I recommend they are and giving me a very good Fantastic result. Yes. You have heard it. Fantastic re- think fantastic result. Think KD King Out Capsule. So for the purpose of those who are watching us who probably may not know what King Out Capsule is, can you just give us just tell us something and then how can it be used? What is the prescription? Yeah, usually it depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for prevention, there's a, I mean when you use it with you use it to the following I mean yeah, you, you know it for pose of eight caps. Mm. Now, when you use it for instance eight AM in the morning. Following day you use ah uh, sorry by two p.m. You use another two, and the following day you use two. Then the other day that's the third day you use two. That is what. So they're using it for treatment now. You already already are infected with malaria. So for you to reduce the strength, you increase the dosage of the first what seven. So you have three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and the following day two. And you have a perfect. Just came down. Yep. Nothing more. Nothing more. The, the, the only thing you might be talking about now, I'm going to start. Think, no, 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 no. Want to Just came down, Capsule. Yeah, <laughs> <Kingdom. laughs> it's excellent. Fantastic <laughs> results. You have heard it from the horse's mouth. King Gal Capsule, of course, is readily available at all Kenya outlets nationwide. Together, we can fight malaria. It begins with you. Zero malaria. Yes. Zero malaria begins with me. It begins with you, too. You see, at this point, I feel we have to be deliberate about the past. Don't leave it for um, just the WHO. Don't leave it at the mercy of uh, KD Healthcare alone. You also have a part to play. Yeah, and that is what we said. One of the ways you can prevent it is mass education. Exactly. So mass education is in the villages, in the schools, in clubs. You have to let them be aware of the... And that is exactly what KD is doing. Um, a few days ago, we were at Igomu Amukoko, and then as we speak, some of our branch officers are at different local communities across the country for this mass education. Because I discovered that some people do not even some people do not even know what we are talking about. Some people do not even know what we are talking about. You need to protect yourself. You need to be aware. You need to play your part. And together, I believe we will get there someday. Zero malaria, malaria is possible. And it begins with you, it Man. begins with me. Okay, so if you have questions, just send in your questions. We will do justice to all of them. So while I wait to take your questions, let me just share a few um, of my good news with you. You know, as usual, I always come here with good news. Mm-hmm. Yes, the first good news I have, I'm sure that many of you attended leadership training um, on the 20th and 21st of April, that's the day before yesterday and yesterday. Just you can share your experience with us. So many people that have packed us uh, with their pictures and all that. I'm sure you really learned a thing or two from that training. Replicate all of the things you were taught and trust me, your growth, nobody can stop it. Now let's go on. The pre-order of Katie Gun Massager is on! <laughs> have you heard about it? Have you heard about Kedigo Massager? If you have not heard about Kedigo Massager, I don't know what to say about that. So, our first seasonal product, Kedigo Massager, the pre order on at all our training centers, regional offices, and our service centers nationwide. Eh? Have you been looking for a device? You need, have you been looking for a device all this while to relieve you of your pain, stress, and all that? Then, all it to the closest training center, regional office, or service center to place your order today. Okay, don't forget that KD seasonal promo is on and winners are emerging daily. Winners are emerging. So, you don't know what KD seasonal promo is, no problem. Just all it to our social, all our social media platforms. You'll find the promo flyers there. Just make use of the promo flyer and then identify yourself with one of the categories so that you can also win. KD special service center promo is also on for my people, my good people in Kano. God bless you. Avail yourself of this wonderful promo. The first set of winners emerged um, two weeks ago. You can also be a winner. You need the flyer, no problem. Just a message in the comment section and the flyer will be sent to you. You cannot afford to miss out on this. Now, don't forget that our 
annual Kedi Inspire magazine is available at um, 500 naira full price. Okay, readers are leaders. I keep saying this over and over and over again. You cannot afford to be representing a company and you know little or nothing about that company. So avail yourself of any edition of Kedi Inspire magazine at 500 naira only at just visit any of our training centers nationwide to get a copy today. I can see your questions coming in. Keep them coming. Dr. Mohamed is still here with me. I am only taking my announcement. Dr. Mohamed is still here in the studio. So you can keep just keep your questions. Keep them coming. We'll take them as I'm done now. So now another thing is, are you a writer or do you have articles that you want us to publish for you? In, our, in the next edition of Kedi Inspire Magazine, no problem. Just contact the editor today on 080-3340-6476 and your article will be published free. Yeah, okay. You can give your article a voice on Kedi Inspire Magazine or you can send a mail to info at kedil.com. You have write-ups on health. You are an health um, um, practitioner, a medical practitioner, I beg your pardon. And you have articles that you want you want Kedi to publish for you at no cost. Just give us a call today. Don't forget, you can also advertise your business. You can advertise what you do on Kedi Inspire Magazine at affordable rate. Just give the editor a call today and we will be at your service. Don't forget that all our social media platforms are active round the clock to attend to your inquiries. On Facebook, we have an account, Kedi Enterprise Lagos. On Facebook, we have a page, Ask Kedi Healthcare Industries. On Instagram, we are at Kedi Healthcare underscore official. On Twitter, we are at Kedi Health NG. On LinkedIn, we are at Kedi Healthcare. We also have a YouTube channel, at Kedi Healthcare. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today, avail yourself of all our educative videos, and use those wonderful videos to grow your business. Don't forget our mobile application, Kedi App. Download Kedi app today and use it to monitor your business. Okay, and also we have our website www.kedil.com. All of these platforms are just for you. Okay, because many people say we call your customer care hotline, it's always busy and all that. All of these channels, okay, we that we start to provide other channels so you could reach us. Okay, you could reach us and then we attend to your inquiry. So make use of all of these um, information channels and we will be at your service. Let me take a few of your questions. Keep your questions coming in. I can see your questions. I can see your questions. Keep sending them in. We will do justice to all of them. But let me take the first one. Okay, we are from um, Michael Inyang. Thank you for sending this in, Michael Enyan, on our Facebook page. He said, how about, okay, is it possible to use, okay, Dr. Mohamed, this is for you. Is it possible to use a um, king capsule for detoxification? Is it possible? No, we don't use king for detoxification. I think our detoxifications are colon tea, gas report, and constantly. So we don't use that for detoxification. So my the essence of adding king is for us to mop up malaria. There's an adage in Europe about that. Anybody that is having malaria, the malaria will prevent the drugs from functioning. So now when you now add the ching to it, it makes effective treatment of whatever you have. Okay, so Michael Inyang, it's not like the king capsule is for detoxification. They only add it. Yes, to okay. take care of the malaria. Okay, and then they say dosage, please. He I mentioned, mentioned it. it. He mentioned it, but just, they just take okay. it. Okay, <laughs> well, since it's prevention, it's going to be two morning, two night. For prevention, yeah. but for treatment, for treatment, three morning after eight hours, three, then the following day, two at the same exact time, then the other day, two. Okay, before meal or after meal, that's the king of capsule. You could use it, uh, but since it's more of a chemical, it's better after meal. Okay, than before meal. Michael Enyang, our doctor said it is better after meal. Okay, thank you. So we have another, he said, um, okay, you need flyers, you are in Calabar. No problem. Thank you for leaving that message. We will attend to you immediately after this broadcast. And you are requesting for the editor's phone number. The editor's phone number, let me take it again slowly. I said you can reach our editor on 080-3340-6476. Or you can send a mail to info at kdl.com. Come, I'm sure you have gotten it this time. 
Thank you so much, Michael Anyan. So let me leave you with our Dr. Cap L. Flip. If you still have questions, please send them in. Dr. Mohamed is still here and he will do justice to your questions. So I leave you with this, our Dr. Cap L. Flip. Mm -hmm. Maintaining good health should be the primary focus of every living being because fashion come and go. Mm, I love this. Let me sit, let me sit right. Dr. Cap, thank you for this one. I love it so much. Fashion come and go. Trends come and fade away. But good health is a treasure that must never be lost. Did you get that? Mm -mm. I will take it again. Dr. Cap, please permit me to take this one again. Our Dr. Cap health tip for this week says, please get a pen. It is, it is key. It is very loaded. It says, maintaining good health should be the primary focus of every living being. Because fashion come and go. Trends come and fade away. But good health is a treasure that must never be lost. Else, every other thing becomes lost. Did you feel it? Hmm. No need to explain. Take care of yourself. Invest in your health. Your health is supposed to be an asset, but if you don't invest in it, it becomes an, an, an expense. Do you understand? It becomes a liability. Take care of your health. And then there is no other, there is no other um, thing that you can use to take care of your health other than our effective product, KD Healthcare Product. Take care of your health. Take care of yourself. Health is the real wealth, not just gold and silver. With that, we have come to the end of this edition of Talk to KD. Dr. Mohamed, will you say goodbye to our viewers? Viewers at home, thank you very much for listening. Zero Malaria begins with you and me. Together, we'll make it what? Nigeria free of malaria. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Doctor. Together, we can kick out this menace from our society. Zero malaria begins with you. It begins with me. Be aware. Play your part. Join the fight. Together, we will win. I remain your regular host, Sarah Ebona. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time. Thank you. Bye.